Hi guys, welcome back to this tutorial about Native Script, Angular 2 and SQLite. In this tutorial we are going to talk about the SQLite database. We were arrived to the, this login page linked with the next page contacts list. Okay, we are going to insert the, uh, the credential. Okay, and this is the address book, the, the page in which we have all the contacts and at this time of the tutorial we are interested uh, to realize a service for our database so uh, create a new directory uh, name the services okay and a new typescript file name database.service.typescript okay so in order to create this service we need the tag injectable for the service okay remember to uh, do import angular core okay the import okay this one okay and now export class database service okay and we need a method inside this database service uh, named create db in which we we have to create a new database and also a method public insert with the param type address so with this method we have to uh, we can uh, insert a new address in the list and also a method public select all with a return type address an array of address in order to see all the contacts in our database so before doing this we need also to uh, add a plugin for the database so open your shell uh, we can open a new tab but it's better to, to stop the execution and write TNS plugin add native script SQLite and wait the installation of this plugin okay very very fast now we can use this plugin in order to have this this database but if we want to use this plugin all we need is required so we have to pass in the constructor required the the module name and in this case let's try it var sqlite and require okay native script sqlite okay now we are ready to use this variable sqlite so go to the private method create db and let's create this db so we have to return a new premise in order to subscribe in the com uh, component the, um, the result of this method so new premise we have a resolve a reject and this is the the body in which we are going to create a new table named address so return new sqlite with the param the param is the name of db so address book dot db and now let's write then method in which after it has called the, the constructor of SQLite we can use the db variable in order to execute a command for SQLite so let's write create table if not exist and the name of this table address with all the columns with ID integer is a primary key how to increment we have also an username of type text and also a number of type text and now we can call again the then method in order to make sure that all is okay so now we can write resolve db 
so we can return the DB and if there are some errors we can console log the error so let's write console log create table error and add the error okay and of course we have to reject this promise with the error it can happen that the new SQLite goes in error so we have to manage this exception in the same way so write error and in the block reject the error okay now we have the create db method the private create db method and we have to use it in the public insert method and the public selector method in order to use this database so let's start again with a new promise so return new promise and now finally we can call the create db so this dot create db and in the then method we have the rest of type any so this is our db and this db allows us to use an sql command so execute sql and write the command inside so insert into address and the params username and number and also the values that we have to uh, to add okay now in the, in the array so value are address dot username and address dot number okay number so now we can use again the then method in order to to wash the ID of the new item insert into the list and so we can console log this item insert result and the ID of this item and of course we have to, to use resolve to return of this promise and it's the same for the error but in this case we have a negative console log and also a reject for this promise okay reject false okay that's all for the public insert method now we have to do the same for select all so very easy we can copy and paste and of course just the first line so the new promise and in this case we have to return an array of addresses so again this create db then we have again the db the current db and we can use it to, to execute a common sql so we have to return now rest.all and of course the common select all from address okay and now with then we have the list of our contacts so rows and we have let result that is an array of type address an empty array and now we have to loop inside this this list so we need a variable row in rows okay and just add to result with the push method a new object with username row okay rows with index row and a position one because the, the zero position is the id but we don't need the id password row with second position okay but this is not password sorry uh, this is okay this is a number not the password sorry <laughs> password is for user model and not for address model so I have to change number okay 
now we have also the select all method but we have to resolve the array so the array name is result and we have also the uh, the array so we have to console log before reject this promise select error and the error and also reject the error for this promise okay that's all also for the selector method that remember that is public so try to run the, the emulator in order to see if there are some errors so just wait and go to address book open the address book component and in the constructor code the database service type database remember of course the import okay where's the import okay import from services okay so now try to, to call database service and the method selector and we have to use the then method in which we have res of type any and in the block we can initialize the list address okay this list address equal res where res is our list in the database but we need to to add the provider so database service in providers attention to the import from services okay open the emulator and watch the result constrict okay login and as we expect uh, the list is empty because we haven't added nothing so we have to to implement a, a button we can add the button in the action bar in order to to add a new contact so open the action bar and add this tag button with text new contact and tap method okay add contact okay now we have to write this method in the component so copy and pass the signature okay public add contact open and now we can just write an alert in order to to see something when we click on the add new contact button so now we have the alert and we can try on the emulator go to the contact list page okay we have this button and the alert works okay the next step is to realize the new add contact page in order to store in the db all the contacts we want all useful links are in the video description and of course don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page. See you guys!